Let's head to America now. As Joe Biden and Kamala Harris start planning their term in office, the US president for now, Donald Trump, continues to contest the election result. US media is reporting his advisers and even some of his own family are encouraging him to concede. Meanwhile, President-elect Biden says his priorities will be tackling the pandemic, climate change, racism and fixing the economy. World Watch's Max Toll has this report. Dancing in the streets in cities across the US, the same song Donald Trump boogied to just a week ago. Yesterday marked an historic moment in American political history. Kamala Harris is the first woman and person of color to be elected vice president. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities. The president-elect of the United States of America, Joe Biden. Tonight, we're seeing all over this nation, all cities and all parts of the country, indeed across the world, an outpouring of joy, of hope, renewed faith, and tomorrow, bring a better day. Donald Trump is yet to concede the election, continuing to kick up a fuss on Twitter alleging he is the rightful winner. His legal avenues to challenging the result are narrowing though, although Republican Senator Mitt Romney says he's within his rights to do so. He has every right to call for recounts because we're we're talking about a margin of 10,000 votes here or less in some cases. And so a recount could change the outcome. He wants to look at irregularities, pursue that in the court. But if, as expected, those things don't change the outcome, why, he will accept the inevitable. One of Mr Trump's top advisers and lawyers, Rudy Giuliani, was sent to Philadelphia last week to try to stop the vote count there. During a press conference yesterday, he learned Joe Biden had won by clinching Pennsylvania. What was it called by? All the, oh my goodness, all the networks. Wow. All the networks. We have to forget about the law. Judges don't count. All the networks, all the networks. Curiously, this press conference was held in the dour-looking parking lot of a company called Four Seasons Total Landscaping. Earlier in the day, Donald Trump announced Mr Giuliani would speak at the Four Seasons, which many assumed to be the hotel. Some on social media suggested Mr Trump's team was then unable to book the hotel and to cover its embarrassment, hastily requested the landscaping firm. Others thought it was simply a mistake. Yesterday, Trump said they were holding a huge press conference at the Four Seasons Hotel and then they accidentally... The New York Times' Nick Corasaniti says the Trump team is holding firm it meant to book the parking lot, which is next to an adult bookshop advertising a sale on sex toys. The campaign said that they had always intended to hold this press conference in a more friendly area. Now, we don't necessarily know whether they always thought, let's go to this parking lot that's in this kind of relatively commercial area of Philadelphia with some interesting neighbors like an adult bookshop and a crematorium. (laughs) We don't necessarily know that was their top choice. As the Trump team scrambles, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris say they've already started work. First on the list, reversing the record-breaking numbers of new coronavirus cases in the US. For Checkpoint, Max Toll.